Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the winner's bracket from Hasu League, created by Rose of Dream. Wow. So this is the official on Gaimnet Tau Cross that has all like the cool little stuff. Apparently a lot of lag between these two. I think Etric is Swedish um, and Jess in Poland. So curious what's the uh, nature of the lag is. I think that was correct, right? Hopefully someone will correct me if I'm wrong on the nationalities. Etric, starting at the 9 o'clock location, is the blue Terran upper right corner. We have Jess, aka Cookie, as the green Protoss. Both these players showing some creativity, which I think will make for a very interesting match on Tau Cross in particular. I think I'm going to favor Jess a little bit, just because there is no ramp on this map, which makes early game zealots a little bit stronger, and we've seen Jess wreak havoc with early game zealots. And a Supply Depot, we've seen this... A couple times, the Supply Depot alongside the Geyser very bravely against Protoss rather than going for a front door wall of any kind. Or even setting up kind of the anti-Protoss thing. And that, honestly, this feels very brave on Tau Cross. Tau Cross, an old school map. I think I showed it in a previous matchup. Three player, the other spawn is kind of down this way. But, uh, but yeah. I think you almost have to expect your opponent to open some form of Zealot. Although, it looks like Jess is setting up for a 12 Nexus. Has the pylon down. This is a 3-player map. Yeah, going to open up 12 Nexus. Okay, so critically... Critically, okay, so refinery plopping down. Etrix still hasn't sent out an SCV scout. Also, if Etrix scouts south first, this is going to be a very late scout on the 12 Nexus. Okay, SCV is moving out. Probe Scout also moving out. Nexus on its way. We do see just a single... Sorry, there's the three SCV on gas, so we are going to see a factory follow-up. And Barracks is up. Now, moment of truth. Does the SCV continue to the south, or does it just proceed to the right? Looks like it is going to proceed right, so at the very least, going to be able to see this 12 Nexus a little bit earlier than later. Knowing Etric's ability to execute very interesting rushes, I would say. Kind of, they've been a little bit off time here and there, I almost feel like. But, point being, he can execute a factory push. Getting a nice probe kill right there. Has to be a little bit low on health. Two gateways following. I'm curious what he's going to follow this up with. Or is he just going to go for economic follow-up himself. Probe being pushed out of that base. I think it got plenty of scouting information though. Only a single SCV on gas to follow. So it looks like this is just going to be one factory into expand. Skipping bunkers and things like that as a follow-up. Which knowing Etric, honestly, or seeing Etric's previous games surprises me a little bit. So just playing it flat normally. Two Zelts being produced. Assimilator is up for Jess. Marines creating a blockade right there. Comparatively, a Vulture being produced to start things off. There is going to be a, de a delay on the Dragoons with the Cybernetics Core, so that Vulture actually might be able to get some kills. Or we're going to see maybe actually more Marines being produced. So we're going to see some sort of Vulture Marine push. Interesting. Because we got, what, six Marines that are going to be produced, and it looks like two Vultures. to go ahead and push into this natural expansion with some SCVs. I have not seen this one before. I don't think. No cybernetic score yet. Okay, cybernetic score somewhat delayed. That's not vultures with speed. Two zealots wandering up, able to get some damage, that vulture being forced to micro a little bit. Finding a lot of these marines. Honestly engaging and providing some of that delayed that he wants. And this is like, wow. Battle workers. This has been just the Battle Worker cast group. Pylon down. I think Jess actually might just want to evacuate. Okay, trying to create a gateway to provide some blockade here. SCVs can still sneak through. One probe down. Trying to get that bunker down. And honestly, this might work against the Zealots more than anything. That front gateway, maybe it can get canceled. It's SCVs versus probes. More probes being pulled to try to defend this. Can the probes get on top of the, the Marines, though? 
very quickly getting wiped out. Just down to 15, 14 workers. The Marines getting all sorts of damage done. And there's still an SCV there to complete that bunker. So these two gateways, I think, yeah. I think all of this is going to get taken out now. And more Vultures are making their way across. I think Edric's done it. Two gateways canceled there. And Jess in a lot of trouble. GG. Creative build overall. Etric now researching mines. Just saying, yeah, the, the lag really creating a lot of trouble. And we'll move on to game two in the winner's bracket. But I got to say, despite the lag, nice build from Etric to go ahead and counter a 12 Nexus. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.